G'day viewers. This is a um, outside and inside tour of the sim. Um, as you can see, I made it out of pine and basically hot glue the frame together. This is the back, it's a 75 inch television on the back. I have a computer down the back here running the instrument panel, heat running in, and the sim computer. And I've you'll notice the bolts. The entire sim is flat packed, so it can come apart in four flat pieces and be reassembled. That's with the interior intact and the roof intact. And uh, up there is the inlet for the fan that brings fresh air in. That's the back. I added a back because I wanted a fully immersive environment, not a curtain at the back. I wanted people to sit inside and feel like they were enclosed, which is what it feels like. And now I'll come back in a minute. This is the um, back door of the sim. I've taken it off so that it show you it's just a flat pack. This is the same with all the walls, as you can see, they're all only a couple of bolts attaching the walls to another piece, and then they come off as a flat pack. Same with the roof, slides into these rails, and that comes off as one piece. The whole thing is a flat pack. The air, as you can see, comes through there, and basically once the back's on, the only way for the air to go is through the tube. And that adds a little bit of fresh air in there if it gets a bit warm or stuffy. As you can see, the screens, obviously, they're not going to look right in this video because these simulators uh, work on a pilot's eye view. You have to be in the hot spot to get the right view, the hot spot being the pilot seat. But as you can see, I tried to make a reasonable copy of a Piper Warrior so that I could train. Added all the uh, checks, including the uh, top lock, the door lock. Still a couple of things to do, but as you can see, this is what it looks like. That's the door open, and that comes off as one piece as well. You lock the door up. It does have a top lock that operates up here. The two televisions, as you can see, I've cut window shakes into the lining inside the cockpit to, in order to make it look more like a window than a television. Um, My, the, whole, the way I built it was basically with the Hollywood in mind. Basically, it doesn't matter what it looks like on the outside, so long as once you sit inside it, you feel like you're in an aeroplane. Because just as in Hollywood, you walk, you think you're in the middle of New York City, you walk down an alleyway, it's all scaffolding behind it all. Um, and that's the whole I, the way I approached it anyway, was to make the inside look as close as I could to a real Piper Warrior. And I'm satisfied with what's happened and how it's all ended up. I'll come out here and you'll notice these flaps actually can lift up if you need to get in there. And there's the screen, 75 inch screen. And 
and uh, a lot of power points and spaghetti going, wiring going everywhere. But I do know where it all goes and what's what. It's the same on both sides. They open up in case you need to get in there. Uh, so that's my sim. Those two things at the top are are um, for the connection, the networking connection. This is just a piece of large piece of cardboard. It's enough to do what it needs to do. Over the other side, you'll see these uh, power boards and things that are running the uh, fuel switch and what have you. So that's how I built it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it uh, gives some of you some ideas for your own sim. They are absolutely magnificent. The feeling is sat inside it when you're sitting in the pilot seat is so realistic. It's it's magnificent for training. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.